The world gets more and more crazy. So Putin has just passed a, a law, um, expedited an emergency law for up to 15 years in jail for, quote, fake news about the military. What do you think about that? So um, I believe there's more than just a, a turf war, more than just a humanitarian war. I believe there's a war on information. And I said yesterday, I don't know if you watched the video, that I thought it was really good that Elon Musk didn't bend to pressure of governments trying to censor information, even though it was from Russia. Um, because he says he's a freedom of speech absolutist. Um, and I would regard myself as the same. I wonder what you think, because as soon as we start um, taking people's freedom of speech away, then um, then these are the kind of things that lead to wars like we're in right now. So I couldn't believe when I read this, but um, they have passed a very quick law uh, in Russia that if they deem that you create fake news about their military, you can get huge fines and up to 15 years in prison. Some people do not get 15 years in prison for murder. To me, this is power, control, propaganda, fear-mongering. Now, I've been saying on every video I've done, I don't know if you've been watching them daily, fear screams loudest when it's dying. Let me say that again. Fear screams loudest when it's dying. So Verity said, I saw this about a year ago. Nah, 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 that. There was um, a similar law passed a year ago, but it was much more lenient. It wasn't fifth, up to 15 years in jail for what the Russian government deem as fake news about their military. Ironically, not fake news about anything else, just fake news about their military. So let me just give you the news and the information. I think it's important that we stand up and we push to get push against this, even though we're not in those countries. Um, it's easy for us to stand on the sidelines and say it doesn't affect us. Um, Sean Paul has said coming to the UK soon, you can't even turn against your own government. We put um, our, our leaders in government. We should hold them to account. So Putin has signed a new law punishing fake news with up to 15 years in prison. The rule will impose fines or jail terms for spreading false information about the military. I wonder if that's going to be um, a fair trial. Um, and fines for people who publicly call for sanctions against Russia. So you speak up for sanctions against a country that is invading another country and you could be fined for just speaking up. Just like in Canada, you can have your bank account seized and freezed just for donating $30 to the trucking protests. This is absolutely outrageous. The world has gone mad. And uh, look... I implore you to speak up about this, to share your comments in this video, to share this video on your social media, to do your own content. Because if we don't push against this, this is the thin end of the wedge and this is the start. I mean, some people are thinking this could, could end up a world war. Some people are saying new world order, the great reset. I don't know. At first I was like, come on, it's a bit far-fetched. Brexit, covid Putin, what next? What freaking next? OK, so courts will dish out the harshest sentences for fake news that leads to serious consequences. According to the Moscow Times, the bill is meant to penalise people who knowingly, quote, distort the purpose, role and tasks of the Russian armed forces. Well, it seems relatively obvious what the purpose, role and tasks of the Russian armed forces are. I'm not sure that they've been majorly distorted. Let me know what you think. And, and all these people who are saying new world order, please give me some research. Please back up what, you know, what is this new world order you speak of? And now I, I know what everyone thinks it is, but what is it really? Um, OK, and I know I have followers from all over the world. We've got Kelly here from Down Under. Let me know what's going on in your country. OK, um, also... Um, Russia will fine or even imprison people who spread unapproved information about Russian war losses. Russia have already cracked down on news outlets 
and social platforms. Um, for example, um, Putin has different figures about the death tolls as uh, other countries. Of course. But you could be fined or imprisoned for false information about this. Or maybe you could be fined or imprisoned for true information about this or your own opinion about this. I mean, this is, you know, I was pretty pissed when um, mainstream media and puppets of mainstream media were trying to cancel Joe Rogan. Uh, and this is just another level. This is just countries who um, want to control media, want to ha have propaganda, basically using fear um, and scaremongering and trying to control. It's, it's ironic that they call it fake news and misinformation when a lot of their news is fake and their information is misinformation. Please hit the share button. We must stand against this. This could turn into something across the whole world. This really does affect us all. Okay. So um, if you've been watching any of my videos, make sure you go back and watch them. Um, but there's, there's an information war between Facebook and Russia going on. Um, Putin's banned Facebook in um, his country. And Russia in turn are um, pushing back. And honestly... This is not just a war on humanity. This is a war on information. Uh, and, you know, I said that it was pretty serious what they were trying to do to Joe Rogan, because if we allow mainstream media to create fear and propaganda and control and censor and deplatform and ban us, not for false and fake information, but what they deem to be false and fake information, that becomes dictatorships and totalitarianism. Because what they're basically saying is, um, we will ban you, we will fine you, and we will imprison you if you share your opinion and it doesn't suit, suit our narrative. This is not about truth. This is about narrative and propaganda. Um, Putin also blocked access to the BBC for undermining stability and security in his country. By the way, I have to be careful not to even say the R word. One of my friends got um, banned off of doing lies for saying the R word. So the world is crazy right now. Crazy right now. We must stand against this, people. You must share this video. You must comment and put your thoughts and feelings in. Fear screams loudest when it's dying. The Canadian government scared trying to reduce the money supply to the Canadian trucking protest. Why are the Canadian truckers protesting in the first place? They're protesting against the government. I believe that um, Putin must be scared to try and cut the information flow. Now, maybe NATO and other countries are scared to cut the money flow to Russia, but it's better than, you know, people have been asking me, what do you think about all the sanctions and cutting the money um, to the oligarchs and to Putin's... Um, you know, I don't know, financial army. Well, it's better than sending in the planes and the tanks and the bombs, in, in, in my opinion. Um, so the BBC have said that this legislation appears to criminalise the, pro criminalise the process of independent journalism. I actually agree with this. I don't agree with everything BBC say and do. But I believe that propaganda and this fake news and misinformation and the, the expedited laws against it, which, which haven't gone through the proper due process, is essentially criminalising criminalizing your freedom of speech, criminalising the free flow of, independ of, of independent information and journalism. I agree with that. And this is where the world is going to. If you don't push back against our freedom of speech as an individual, your freedom of speech, then essentially you'll become a criminal for your um, opinion. It was bad enough with Joe Rogan. You weren't going to be criminalised for your opinion or your freedom of speech, but you are going to be cancelled for your opinion or your freedom of speech. And now, certainly through Putin, you could be criminalised for your freedom of speech. This is not a war on people and on land in isolation. This is a war on information. This is censorship and control and propaganda at the very highest level. We must stand against this, my friends. Thanks for watching my videos. Make sure you hit the share button. Whew, crazy times. Quick summary. 
Um, you can now get up to 15 years in prison for fake news about the military. Um, a, 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 a parliamentary law just passed, you know, expedited through, like the Canadian government did, without due process and consideration. I'm speechless. <laughs> this world is crazy. Fear screams loudest when it's dying. <laughs>